Now, when some Democrat legislators in Texas didn't like some legislation that would have made it harder to conduct election fraud, they didn't stand and fight back in public debate. Nope. They hightailed it to an airport, boarded a chartered private jet, and they flew to Washington, D.C. with cases of beer on board. Oh, they were all smiles. And they looked more like naughty college students proud of their latest pub crawl than serious public officials. Now, by fleeing the state, they kept the Texas legislature from having a quorum, and therefore, they were unable to conduct business. Beside their actions being basically as petulant as a five-year-old having a meltdown at the grocery store because his mother selected Special K instead of Fruit Loops, <laughs> things got a little messy for him when their arrogant stunt fell apart in, oh, so many ways. You know, they seem so proud of themselves, and they posted photos of their excellent adventure with their maskless faces smiling bigly shortly after they arrived in Washington, which for them is the mothership, because some of those folks love government more than liberty. Oh, they were honored as heroes, and they were seen hobnobbing with the vice president, Speaker Pelosi, and White House staff. But soon... As many as eight of them tested positive for COVID, throwing official Washington into panic and throwing the renegade Texas legislators into lockdown and quarantine, where one boohooing legislator lamented that she actually had to do her own laundry while holed up in her hotel room. <laughs> oh, cry me a river, honey. For a state whose origin was Colonel William Travis and his small band of citizen soldiers defending the Alamo despite being outnumbered 20 to 1 against the troops of Fanana Anna, the sight of Texas Democrats fleeing their duties in a private jet and swilling beer like a scene from Animal House was just the sort of image that political ad makers dream of. I mean, these off duty Democrats continued to receive their taxpayer funded paychecks and live in nice D.C. hotels. But the narrative was not about courageous Democrats fighting against legislation, but rather that of cowardly carriers of COVID who created a super spreader event in the nation's capital and become a shining example of hypocrisy, hubris, and humor being ridiculed from every angle, except from the far left, who is, of course, beyond shame of any kind at any time. And the ultimate irony, and irony is something leftists seem incapable of seeing, is that the big issue that caused them to run like a three-year-old's nose during allergy season <laughs> was a bill to secure the integrity of elections, which included requiring photo ID in order to vote. Even on their charter flight, they had to show a photo ID to the charter company <laughs> Then they had to show a photo ID to check into their hotel, showed one to get into the Capitol and to the White House. And then they had to show one to go to the clinic where they tested positive for COVID. <laughs> so since Democrats have said that having to show photo ID is racist and a return to Jim Crow laws, I guess these Democrats have reverted to racism and decided to comply with Jim Crow laws, after all? <laughs> In politics, the worst situation is not losing. It's being ridiculed. And these Texas Democrats have conducted a clinic in more than COVID transmission. They have schooled the political world how to carry out the most ill-planned disaster since General Custer. <laughs> and they still haven't answered the big question. Who paid the millions it cost for them to have their little excursion into political history? Well, to quote the great philosopher Forrest Gump, <laughs> stupid is, stupid does. <laughs>